Has anyone ever told you, don't get your hopes up? Don't dream too big. We don't want to see you get hurt. We're going to talk about it on today's podcast. Hi, my name is Michael Johnson. I'm a ballroom dance professional, a life coach, and a peak performance expert. I'm part of a group of motivated people who are dedicated to attaining emotional mastery and unlocking our full potential. We don't believe others are responsible for how we feel. In fact, we don't believe anyone can make us feel anything. We believe in the magic of ballroom dance. It has taught us how to improve our bodies, challenge our minds, and inspire our souls. And in return, I want to share those lessons with the world. We are lifers, and this is Magic for Life. What's up, lifers? Michael Johnson here with the Magic for Life podcast, and I'm so excited to chat with you this morning. So, we talked about it. Has anybody ever told you, don't get your hopes up? Maybe it was somebody you love. Maybe it was a family member. Hey, we don't want you to get your hopes up. Uh, Why? Because we don't want to see you get hurt. Well, you know, the funny thing about that is that everyone who's had success in their life has gotten their hopes up. And in most cases, we've missed. We've missed the target. We have taken a shot and missed. In fact, if you look back to the greats like uh, Babe Ruth, how many swings did he take? How many times did he strike out trying to hit a home run? And he got a whole lot of home runs. In fact, he got more home runs than everybody else, but he just kept swinging. He also had a ridiculous amount of strikeouts. See, the thing is, is you have to find a way to raise your dreams, raise up your goals to a higher place. Because what happens if you get them? Now, you may have heard this before, but I really want you to think about this. What is it that you're shooting after right now? And if you don't know, then you need to take a moment and work on setting up some goals. Because you cannot hit the target if you cannot see it. This is huge. You have to be able to see the target. You have to be able to know where you're headed and what you're trying to accomplish. Now, a lot of people are so worried about getting their hopes up and not reaching the goal or the intended target and then being crushed and their emotions will be uh, uncontrollable and they'll be so sad. Well, guess what? Being sad is part of life. Being sad is an emotional experience that we are allowed to have if we so choose, but you should actually choose. You should actually choose. Let me say that again. You should actually choose. If you'd like to be sad, be sad. If you'd like to be happy, be happy. You have to start the process of choosing. And this is so important. So we want to set our goals, but we want to set our goals high. I used to have uh, one of my family members kind of give me a hard time for it. Quit setting your goals so high. What are you doing? That's crazy. Just one step at a time. Right? One step at a time. Don't, don't worry about that. But you know what? I knew where I wanted to go. I knew what I wanted to accomplish. In the beginning, I remember going to a dance camp as a young uh, teenager. And I remember sitting on the floor watching this big show of some of the top dancers in the United States. And it was awesome. You know, I, I sat there with all the other young people my age. And I remember watching this show with some of the great dancers uh, of that era. And I remember going back to the table to sit down with my mother afterwards. And I remember telling my mom, you know what, I'm going to do that someday. I'm going to do that. And she looked at me and kind of went, well, okay, okay. And she kind of humored me. Luckily, she had great vision. And so I started the path. And I started that journey to head towards that target. And the target was huge. I mean, this this idea, this target was uh, out of control, huge. I mean, we were talking about pro dancers, successful, had titles, had the experience, and, and had accomplished a lot. And they were out giving a show together. And so I set out to hit that, that uh, target, that journey that was ahead of me. And so I decided to go to college. And I figured, you know what, going to college, that's a good idea because, you know, none of my family's been to college. So this was a huge goal, but I knew it was a piece of becoming that professional dancer that I wanted to become. And so I set out to go to college and get a degree. 
And that seemed overwhelming. All of a sudden I found myself, you know, months away from graduation and I went, well, how am I going to do this? So I sought out my coaches and I said, well, I want to be a, a pro dancer. This is what I've been working towards. So I found a great studio and a great uh, set of mentors that were going to help me into my pro career. And all of a sudden my pro career became a reality. And little by little, that goal of being able to step on the floor as a professional dancer and do shows with other professional dancers started to become real. I remember distinctly after I had uh, started having children and I had retired from competing, I remember being invited to go do this and uh, this camp. And it wasn't, you know, till the very end of the camp where uh, we were asked to do a show and there I was with some of the very same people that I saw do that show years and years earlier. And I remember just sitting in the dressing room as they were giving me, you know, good luck, you're going to do great today. And we were all kind of supporting each other, ready to go out for this show. And I remember at that very distinct moment thinking, holy cow, I just hit the goal. I just... I'm about to hit this target. I'm about to walk out on the floor and hit this target that I have spent so many years thinking and planning and working hard for. And I remember just losing my breath, losing the words because I was about to go do something and attain this thing that I had set out for. And holy cow, it was amazing. I was going to hit the target. I was actually going to hit the target. Now, there were a lot of things along the way that I was trying to hit and trying to shoot for, but that initial goal, that initial target that I set out to hit was being accomplished. But I remember very distinctly days after that thinking, oh my gosh, what's next? I forgot to raise the goals. And so I sought out other things. And luckily, along the way, I'd figured out some new goals that I had set out. And I didn't realize it, but luckily I had some great mentors and some other people saying, well, what are you going to do after you retire? What are you going to do after you stop competing? And I got so interested in helping people and changing their lives. And I got so curious about that. And during my years of competing, I got certified as a life coach and a master practitioner of neurolinguistic programming. Basically, it's a bunch of fancy stuff to say, I found a way to be certified at helping people change their lives. And this was huge. This was a big deal because I had saw this new vision back then. I had gone to this awesome seminar and I remember sitting in the seminar and again, this idea came over me and I said, you know what? I'm going to do that someday. I am going to stand up in front of people and help them change their lives for the better. And so I started on the path. And this was lapped over with the dancing, but I knew that I could do something to help change people's lives. And that's what I set out to do. And little by little, we're heading towards this target. And I say we because I have an amazing team behind me. And thank goodness for them because if they weren't here, and if they weren't on board, and if I hadn't found them along the way, these podcasts, these different projects that I'm doing wouldn't be possible. So I'm so grateful that I found them to help create this dream into a reality. And so little bits along the way, I found myself opening a dance studio. Why? So I could have the target start to come closer. I wanted to be able to help people. And ballroom dance really is a catalyst for me to help and inspire people. You may be a dancer. You may not be a dancer if you're listening to this podcast, and that's totally fine. Dance was my background. It's my experience, and it's where I've gained some of my life lessons and hard knocks. And we can all learn from these amazing things that we've learned in ballroom, that I've learned in ballroom, and so I'm trying to share those with you. So we're heading towards this target I own a studio now. I'm being able to help people. And little by little, I get to get up in front of stages of people and speak and be able to help people because I had set that target. And I encourage you to raise your goals. Raise the target. Make the picture so big and grand. Because what happens 
if you get there? What happens if you attain your goal? You can't just be done. You're not going to just be done. What if it takes you a lifetime to hit that goal? Well, that's okay. That's part of what we're here for. The experiences. We're here to experience life. The emotional states that life has to offer and the experiences of sharing time with other people, with your family, with yourself. But you've got to have these wicked high goals. Don't worry about those around you that don't want you to get hurt. They mean well. They really do. They want you to not get hurt. They don't want to see you suffer or go through any pain. But sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you have to. You have to find a way to suffer through some pain here or there to make it to your goals. So set really high goals. Dream big. Get your hopes up and build a support system so that when you do get your hopes up and maybe you miss the target, they'll be there to tell you, you know what, keep swinging. You're going to get the home run. Keep swinging. Keep taking a shot. It's important that you set high goals because if you don't set them high enough, you're going to attain them. You will attain them. You have to set the goal though. You're going to attain your goal and when you do, you're going to look to the next goal and that is normal and natural and it's, it's perfectly acceptable. But set some high goals and then start to work your way back and reverse engineer them. Look at the stages and the steps and those are going to be the targets that you need to hit along the way. But you have to raise your goals and periodically you have to check in. You have to nurture and feed these goals, not just by putting in the hard work and the sacrifice and the discipline that you're going to need to hit these high goals and big dreams. But you're going to need to periodically visit them so that you can continue to nurture them and have them grow and make sure that if you need to raise them again and create bigger dreams that you can. Some of the craziest things that you would have thought aren't possible are now possible. Just take a look back into one of the old Star Trek episodes from the 1970s and go take a look and see how many of those things are actually a reality in some way, shape, or form. It was sci-fi. It was something that was imaginary. It was something that we dreamed about and said, wouldn't that be cool if... And yet now, so many of those things are a reality and they are so present in our life. Dream big. Go after the big goal. Go after the big dream. And you don't have to tell everybody about it. In fact, you should write it down. You should put it in your own world. You should put it in your own notes. And not until it's time do you need to share with everybody else that goal. It's yours. You got to feed it and foster it and give it some growth and some time to set its teeth into your soul so that you know exactly how to get there. And along the way, you might have other smaller, tinier goals that will set you on a path towards a direction that you need to go. And you might even set your sights on some goal that you're going to attain uh, maybe short term, knowing full well it's going to take you towards a goal long term that you'd like to achieve. And that's fine. But raise your goals. Set the target and set it big. And along the way, the target might keep moving, but that's okay. Start moving towards the target and dream big. Dream big. Go after it and really attack your goals. Really go after them and give it your heart and your soul and enjoy the journey on your path to attaining all your hopes and dreams. I wish you the best and thank you for joining me today. Remember uh, to go in and comment on the podcast and let me know what you think. If you have any topics or questions that you'd like me to answer, please email them in. Uh, You can send them in to dancemaj at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. And as as usual, I am so grateful for you listening to the podcast and joining us. And I hope these are making a difference for you in your life. Please go out and share it with somebody else that you might think needs this message. Because really, we're just after trying to help as many people as we can and change their lives. So go share this podcast with somebody else. You can share this episode on any of the platforms that uh, you listen to podcasts on. And let other people know. And uh, we'll see you on the next podcast. Take care. 
Are you loving Magic for Life? Please like and share our podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Interested in learning to ballroom dance? Check out ballroomforlife.com slash free for a free three-day trial. You can learn to dance right in your own living room and change your life forever. Forever.